is up, everybody? What is up, nobody? Young and old, past, present, future, hello and welcome. My name is Master Fong, and I've been away for a while. It's been a good seven or nine days since I've even put on pants, but here we are. Happy end of the holidays to you. Happy New Year. Welcome to what could be, potentially, the very last stream of my 2022. The last stream of my first year of streaming, which is kind of a big deal. But, uh, yeah, welcome back. Uh, I took a long while off for a good bout of just absolutely nothing, and it was wonderful. I have never been so relaxed. I absolutely needed it. But we're back, baby. We're back, and we're opening up, coming back strong and swinging with Mama Lasagna. Now, I haven't played Elden Ring in a while, guys, so you're going to have to bear with my rage and my absolute uh, ineptitude. I've been playing a lot of other games, Lord knows. I've been streaming Red Dead Redemption. I've been streaming Dying Light 2 Stay Human. I have been playing a metric buttfuck of Kirby the Forgotten Lands. I got that for my wife for Christmas, and uh, we've been playing through it. Tremendously fun game, and if I had the ability to, to stream that, I absolutely would. I think I need a capture card, and I'm still technologically impaired. That has not changed, but... Uh, I've got Elden Ring for you all, so here's what we're gonna do. My plan today is to finally tackle the Cursed Slushy. We're gonna go down deep underground and we're gonna, we're gonna take care of that. But, I'm gonna give people a little bit of time to get in here. And so we're going to, uh, we're gonna do some PvP for a little bit here. Hey, Akam, welcome in. Thank you for the resub, it's seven months. Mama bless you and keep you. Yes, welcome to the Church of Chorizo. The church has swung its doors wide once again. The beautiful Big Booty Bounty Buffet is upon us. So, uh, for those of you who don't know, they added a small DLC. Nothing story related, nothing single player. They added Colosseums. We can finally go into the Colosseums. There are three different Colosseums. One in Limgrave, where we're standing, which is a standard fight between one-on-one, -on -one, 2v2, or 3v3, uh, or a all-out brawl, every man for themselves, and it's basically just get as many kills as you can in an allotted time limit. Uh, healing is limited, blue is limited, but you respawn infinitely until the end of the match, so that's a lot of fun. The Coliseum in the capital is simply a one-on-one -on -one duel, no healing, gentleman's challenge. And then, of course, you got all-out chaos in the Kalid catacomb, catacomb, I keep saying catacomb, Kalid Coliseum, where you can not only do 1v1, 2v2, 3v3, you can also spirit summon. So we're gonna we're gonna split the difference here. We're gonna do some PvPing. It's gonna be me and some some friends. I actually have to make sure my multiplayer setting is okay, good. It's gonna be me and some anonymous friends I've never met. We are going to do any number of combatants. Uh let's see, I think United Combat is what I want. I wanna play with some teammates. It's sink or swim with the PvP. You either get good people, or you get terrible people. Or you are, in fact, the terrible person, and everybody else is looking at you like, why you let down the team? All right, United Combat, any number of combats. Let's do it. Hopefully, we'll be able to find a match here. This was, uh, it was peaked pretty much a couple weeks ago before I started streaming into Red Dead and everything else. This was popular because, you know, it was Elden Ring DLC. After nine months or so, people jumped back in, started making builds. Looks like we're moving to the arena. All right, I oh, but I, I'm not feeling confident here. I don't think Mama's build is great for PvP. She's very heavy, very hard hitting, um, very holy damage focused, and for PvP, there's just so many ways to counter that. And uh, colossal weapons, especially, it's very hard to hit people with colossal weapons, in my opinion. Oh, geez, it's 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 me and Peepnik versus Zion. And demise. Let's do it. Was that was that a buckler? What you gonna counter, bro? <laughs> Got one. Are you kidding me? Where, where the fuck did you go, teammate? 
Well, Pete Nick left my ass hanging out in the wind. Yeah, he's probably gonna die too. That's all right. I knew PvP would be a shit show. There you go, Pete Nick. You can actually do something now. Oh, I pressed L. That was my fault. What in God's name? Woo! Oh, he's teabagging. What a slut. Yeah. Yeah, they're kicking our ass. We're not winning this one. All right, Pete Nick, do something now. This guy's using dual fucking katanas. What a chad. What a chad. What you teabagging, bro? Dude, Pete Nick's getting his ass beat. Oh, they're great healing too, huh? Dude, he backstepped through that. I don't even know what's going on here, attack-wise. Dude, Pete Nick, you gotta do something. Oh yeah, no, stand over there with your little lightning. Good, good idea. Press the offensive, my dude. This guy's connection is bullshit. All right, there's one. I think that's two for us, four for them. Looks like that hurt, dude. Ooh, did he change? He changed to Grand Sax? Got him! Eat mama's ass! Yeah, look at that connection, look at that. It for Pete Nick and me. Yeah, suck that lasagna. <laughs> this guy is such a giga chat. Such a fucking giga chad. <laughs> too bad, too bad. Yeah, whatever, man. Fucking Beast Armor, two long katanas. This guy, this is his whole day. He woke up. He, he's like, how can I, how can I just PvP Chad the gay away? He figured it out. He he cracked the code. Mama give you all the meatballs, son! Mama give you all the meatballs! Hey, poor Pete Nick. I really wish he could do more. He's, he's like trying, but not trying. He's getting some kills. Hell, he might even be out killing me. I, I've lost count, to be honest. Oh, combat's over. Demise. Was that was that Mr. Uh, Tryhard over here? Yeah, look at him. <laughs> it's over. It's over, Demise. You won. You got you got all the brownie points for using your bolt of grand sacks and your what uh, one of those. It's not the it's not washing pole in this one. Now, what do we get for PvP? Absolutely nothing. We get, we get absolutely nothing. No points, no runes. There's a there's a leaderboard. There's there's a leaderboard. I'm sure Demise is up there. Stellar name. 
full set of beast armor, two fucking long katanas that he just is jumping and sp <laughs> Uh, PvP in From Games is, uh, it's a rare beast. It's a rare beast. It's, it's equal parts sportsmanship and cunt. I am gonna do one, maybe two battles here, and then we'll, we'll head into the, uh, the actual game again, if I remember how to play. I did alright, I think. For my, my first match back, I got some ass blasting, I hit some meatballs. I, I'm not... I, I, I'm not as good as, like, with my sorcerer, just, just hot changing to spells. I'm also not sure if I have the best PvP miracles for this. I've got good PvE miracles, just huck massive fireballs. That one guy's cast speed was incredible. He was great healing his teammate, but, oh, jeez, Mr., Mr., ugh. But Mr. Teabag, the crown, Mr., Mr. Tss, fucking 360 spin. <laughs> like, there's, you gotta do something with your life. Oh, well, we already lost someone. Come on, heal! Oh, jeez. Did, did both my teammates just fucking perish? Yeah. Yeah, they did. Come on, teammates. Get in there. Get in there for mama. Oh, guys. Come on. Get, get, get one kill for us here. Is that one? Did we get an elimination? Is that two, maybe? I've already forgotten who my team is here. I think it's Zzz and Combat Prisoner. Interesting. Night. Oh, I missed that right in the nose, huh? Goodbye. Who else wants meatballs? Yeah, everybody wants a piece of mama's ass. Ooh, good jump hit. Frostbite proc. I think we're ahead. We lost two in the beginning here, but we're up to six. I think we're overwhelming the map, but there goes Ziz again. Teammates, you can't die. That's not part of the plan. Cut that weeb shit out. Guys, come on, get in there! He's got no health! Ah. I'm in a griping mood. Like, you, you overwhelm. This isn't 1v1v1. You're supposed to 2v1 people. I kicked that man's dick in. One shot and he's gone. This guy's clearly the issue. Mr. Frost Katana's here. Yeah, this guy, this guy's just doing his shit. There we go, good hits on that. My god. Is that Moonvale? No, I think he's using just, uh... Well, no, no, he's shooting a projectile. I've... It looks... Longer than Moonvale, though. Can you get a a shot? It's been so long since I've done this game. I've forgotten all the rules. Oh, Mr. Holy, Mr. Holy Fire here. Oh, I missed point blank. What? Oh, they both died. Ooh, yeah. I I don't know. I thought we were doing good in the middle here. I 
I have not kept track of what we have. God rest ye merry gentlemen, let nothing you dismay. Come on, squad! Well, we got an ass blast, but this caster's fucking us up from afar here. The guy with the, the frost katana, I think he's in line for MVP. He's got a build that's just three-shotting. And they keep killing Ziz. All right, listen, Mr. Caster. Yeah, 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 with the sword. Like, look, 2v1 here. Like, guys, these two are the ones we need to worry about. These guys. Reos, was that, uh, was that him? Ends in our loss, yeah. Because uh, Ziz over there died 15 times and they didn't focus the two that needed killing. I, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna come out here and say that I am I'm the the forefront authority on PvP for any from game. I people know I don't fuck with it. So I know that I'm not crushing it. I, I didn't count how many times I died there. I died a select few. I also got a good couple hits in. But yeah, if you get bad teammates, it's just over. Ideally, you wanna get a team of two or three and you you spec it, Ranala, you know, you really try hard to the max. You get you figure out all the builds and the numbers for PvP that just crushes. I had two guys, they were just projectiles. And they were covering each other so well. Like, it's hard to get mad at that, because they, they got together and they said, let's let's work this out. Let's let's use accompanying builds. But there's always one guy on either team that, I, for lack of a better term, he just fucking feeds. Like, he just runs into the damage and gets absolutely demolished. What, what, you got fat armor? You think we're gonna, you think we're gonna fat trade? What is it you're doing here, buddy? Gotta get a heal off. Yep. Oh, he missed, all right, cool. Ooh, very good read on that. Very good backstab raid. Who's a, oh God, Faceless Ronin's on my team? Oh boy. Hi, Kiwi! Am I spec for PvP? No, not really. My build is is whatever. My, my build is very PvE, just, you know, standard stats right now, I'd say. Oh, you thought I wasn't gonna look at you. Oh, I get it. Oh, why am I not... Oh my god, you guys! Control your... Ah, oh, there goes Ronan. Ronan, uh, Ronan doesn't seem to be doing anything. No, yeah, I'm... Tate Slam is amazing because it hurts. Also, I'm just having fun with it. I like... I like just using, uh, the big weapon. Oh my god, but look, see? They know how to play. They 2v2, one in front, one behind. My other two, they're fucking running around doing God knows what. So no, I am not spec for PvP. I have not done any research on what the proper pointage is. It's probably a lot of health. It's probably a lot of PvP health. Come on, babies. Oh good, he's going fucking lightning zap. God. Oh, it's Demise again. Oh shit, I didn't even realize we were facing Mr. Tryhard himself. Man, these balls are not tracking. Fuck you, Demise. See, Taint Slam can really work if I have a team for it. 
Meanwhile, Demise is just back here fucking... All right. Yeah, right behind. They, they, yeah, they... Hey, it's hard. You know, we're not talking. We're not communicating. I don't know if the other team is either, but like, there, there's a system. And the system is help each other out. Let your player get a heal in. Demise here, he's got big ass swords, one shot things. He, he's, he's, he's living his best life. Yeah, like he's, he's oh boy, circle jerk, circle jerk, circle jerk. He absolutely outclasses me with his weapons. Like he's got the weapons for this shit. Like, look at that. One hit, half my health. I swear he even knows how much stamina I have. Back jumping? Look at this. This man. Guy like, team, help me out here. Like, all we have to do is attack the one with no health before he gets a heal. Ah, I'm, I'm just gonna complain. It's all right, it's PvP. Not gonna let this ruin the stream. And he healed, he got a heal from that. Because when you kill people, you get heals back. All they had to do was attack him. Like, see, help each other out, you cunts. Put that away, put that away. Nihil! Like, look, why am I two, why am I 1v2 here? And why is Demise killing our people? Gotta kill for it. Two people on one Demise, guys. You guys. Combat's over, I'm gonna say... I don't think Demise took it. I think it was one of his teammates. Yep, Bougie Boy! Certainly wasn't Faceless Ronin. <laughs> That is a, that is a, Demise is an old school Dark Souls 3 cunt. He's the type that will invade a world, run around like a bitch, proc all the PvE, try in 2v3, three, try in 2v1, 3v1, and if he dies, he'll message you and go, trash. Ah, uh, what do you think? One more? Maybe one more? We got four people in here now, so we can actually start playing the game. Uh, da, 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 da. Christmas is great, Kiwi. I hope yours was too. I did uh, just a few weeks of absolute nothing. It felt wonderful, but you know, we're back. We're bringing in the holy lasagna. Are other players scaled? Or are you just super high level? Do you fuck? No, you, you get matched, I believe, with people in your level. And if not, you, yeah, you get scaled so that people are more or less on the same field. But after all of that, people that really know the numbers and the abilities, they will find the builds. Especially after they reworked PvP to make it so that everything affects PvP. Just want to watch combatant Billy. And who are we against? Uh, armored Core, the Blinded... I'm just gonna call that the Blinded Girth. That's gonna hurt. Oh man, I'm an idiot. I let him get that and tried to fucking buff myself. Ah, I was dumb. That was all me. We got a mage and that mage has got damage. This is gonna be difficult. You know what I should probably do? I don't know how he got out of that. Why is it 2v1 here? Guys, hello. Hello, team. They're just tracking me down. It's, it's, it's impeccable. Hey, Billy, you gonna use that scepter? You gonna put to the test? Yeah, that guy's got the tear. Billy's getting his ass blasted. This is a strong mage. He's got a good build here. He's got poise. 
He's using gravity on the blade, and then he's just sceptering for damage. These guys are kicking our ass. We've gotten one kill. We've gotten one kill. I will say, I, I fucked up many a person with my mage. It was a good time. Oh, and now we're just getting moon veiled and crossbowed, guys. Oh, I didn't auto-aim on the right guy! Are you kidding me? I fucking locked onto the one over there? Come on! Lock onto the guy fucking near me! I don't even know how he's dodging these. And then they're just hitting from behind with projectiles. Jesus Christ! They've got so much magic! Yeah, I definitely can't take slam here. And this is my fastest weapon. I, I went into this knowing Mama's, Mama's not really made for PvP. Yeah, he's got the tier, so he, yeah, see, I, I, I didn't even spec for my Wonder Flask either. I think I've got holy damage up. They're using the bubble tier so that they can take a hit to the face. They might be using infinite focus points. I'm not spec. It's my own fault for, for, for doing this. They are reaming us. Look at all this fucking potential. They, they, and Moonvale. I will say, I do still think Moonvale's bullshit. No, I won't say it's, you know, cheating or cheap, because it is in the game. I've always been a proponent of if there's a weapon in the game, you fucking might as well use it. I do think after all the nerfs and tweaks and buffs and balances they did, and I'm back and I'm dead. And I'm dead. Yeah, he just runs away. They're protecting their mage, and it's, it's working for him. That we are in shambles. This match was over long before it started. We are in shambles. Oh, how, how many was that? How, how many was that? Damn. Are we done here? <laughs> yeah, no, Akam, Papa Whispers does amazing. I, I've done Papa Whispers. I have, I have destroyed whole teams with my magical cannon. And it's a real shame, because I think, it, 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 again, it's a fine line of is that cheap or is it acceptable? Look at that, just Moonveil, man. Moonveil is, the fact that you can still two-shot people with Moonveil, it makes no sense to me. Yeah, and there's the moon. We're not targeting the sorcerer, which is what we should be doing. And, what can, what can I say? The other two are just, the blinding, that was definitely the sorcerer. That, that, that was the guy with the, the gravity blade. And just fucking pew pew pewing. Yeah, my Gilmet, uh, Great Shield guy, he doesn't do well. Papa Whispers does very well. Death! Death did very well. Death is so fast and so much damage. Yeah, Mama Lasagna, she's, she's a big girl. She's slow, she relies upon miracles, which are also slow. Yes, I could get good, I could, I could free aim some of these projectiles. If we, we had some okay lashes in the beginning there, but I don't have a variety to my build, and I don't, I mean, what, what even is this? Is this... Is this Twiggy? Yeah, I've got Twiggy in here. Twiggy's doing nothing for me. I, I, I could have switched to something else. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do just one or two PVPs with a different character. And, uh, and then we'll go and we'll do some Mama proper. We're only, yeah, we're only 29 minutes in. I had to drop my car off this morning and get my windshield repaired, so at some point I'm going to be getting a call saying, Hey, Uber back here to pick up your car. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, Death or Papa Whispers? Yeah, alright. I'll do Papa Whispers. I gotta, I gotta get better at flipping my spells, though. It's been a while. Been playing too much Kirby. 
All right, let's see here. So how did I open up? I think I hit him with a bunch of those. What are my... This is magic and infinite. Physical digation spells cost less. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. All right, United Combat, any number of combats. Oh God, we could do spirit, we could do spirit summons. I've summoned a lot of different spirits as Papa Whispers. Everybody wants to summon their Mimic, and it works if you have a lot of like bullshit AOE things that the Mimic can uh, spam. A lot better is, is Titchy or my boy Battle Mage Hugh. People don't know what to do about Battle Mage Hugh. Uh, let, let, let's, let's do one with that. Let's, let's just do people again. I gotta remember where all my spells are. Yeah, if you're a level like 20, I don't think you'll be uh, set against a level 100. I'm pretty sure that uh, there are cutoffs or scales for it. Death, death did very well. Death is so fast with quick rolling and the scythe that has reach and damage and shield chip. Death did well. Papa Whispers does well if they don't realize I'm a sorcerer and three of them gang up on me. Yeah, as we should have done to the other sorcerer. Uh, this is actually taking a bit. That other one went fast. Could be because Papa Whispers is such a high level too. I don't know. Like I said, I haven't looked fully into the mechanics. So hey, how was your uh, Christmas Kiwi? How'd you do? You guys have a, uh, have a decent holiday? Hopefully a lot of nothing, or at least a lot of something that brings you comfort and contentment? I wanted to stream, I really did. I wanted to come back. I wanted to get in at least one stream before the new year, and I'm like, what, uh, what could I do? You know, could I go back to cowboying? Should I jump back into zombies? And I said, you know what, let's, let's, let's end the year with Mama. Mama, blessed be. Pretty calm, which was nice, yeah. Yeah, I, I feel that. That's all I wanted. I I haven't been looking at the clock. I haven't been looking at the calendar. I haven't thought about anything except what I'm going to eat and where I'm going to sleep. And it's been it's been wonderful. I do go back to work in uh, two days like the rest of the world. Holidays are over. Back to the grind. Yeah, we're, still not, get, we're not getting any combat combatants here. Let me cancel this. Let me actually go to the Limgrave Coliseum. You know, I probably should get rid of Stars of Ruin. Ever since they nerfed it, people have said that the other one, the one that the guy was shooting me with, those six stars that did all of my health, people say that's the way to go. And it might just be. But I haven't touched my mage. Guys, I'm so excited for when the DLC for this game drops. The actual new maps, new enemies, new weapons and shit. Like, it's going to be so much fun. I might do just like a long stream of each of my characters going through the DLC. I'll go through with Gilmet. I'll go through with Papa Whispers. I'll go through with Mama Lasagna. Ready! Hi, Amber. Very good. Very good. Happy to be back. Happy to... To crack on with this, it actually felt a little weird, I'll confess. Uh, not streaming, like taking so many days off, I got like a little nervous. I was like, but you know what? It's, it's, it's fine. A week isn't that long. It is when you're, you got tunnel vision. But a week or two off, like everybody's doing it. But it was very enjoyable. So I'm hoping to jump back into streaming and uh, I don't, I don't, I've said it before. I don't wanna, I don't wanna try as hard. I wanna stay authentic to whatever bullshit comes out of my mouth. I want to engage with you guys, so I'm happy. I'm happy to be back. I'm happy to be doing some Mama lasagna -ing after we get some PvP out of the way. Yeah, the fact that it keeps giving me remaining combatants 5, that's concerning. Truth be told, should I even have any of this equipped? I should probably unequip everything and go for light load. Mm, I don't have the thing with me though, okay. I carry this axe. Pe people never expect 
Like, I'm, I'm flipping and whipping, and they're like, ah, he's just a mage, get up close, he can't do anything. And then I switch to this, and I go, a bonk, a bonk, bonk, bonk. It's like, this weapon sucks, because it's very, very close range. Except when people want to get close to you, and then it's like, have a hug. Have a big smacked hug. So we open up with a couple of shard spirals. That gets people panic rolling, and then we just... And we just keep... And they never know what to do. Typically. They get really close, we give them the gavel. Keep them on their toes with this, protect our teammates with a little bit of this. Occasionally we whip out like this, just to keep them on their toes again. But well, we've gotten one combatant here. If we don't get a match going soon, I'm gonna drop out, try death, and if we don't get a match there, we're just gonna go straight to Mama Lasagna in the Cursed Slush. I do like Papa Whisper's look. That hat with that co cloak is just awesome. Supposedly in the DLC there might be a, like, a tattered hat coming out, which is this same hat but without the mask? Oh, guys, I'm so excited. I'm so excited for the Elden Ring DLC, and but it probably won't be coming out until Resident Evil 4 and Dead Space remasters are out. Um, and as we all know, that is getting my full attention. Once they are out, those games I am playing to completion. So we will get some Red Dead Redemption in. We will get some more Dying Light in. And, you know, we'll have some smattering of Mama Lasagna hither and thither. Maybe even another Minecraft stream, because I've been playing it. And I fixed some bullshit, and I can't get back to my mansion world. I mean, I can, just to look around. But my actual green greens, I, uh, I spent a lot of my first half of break just building in that. I added some new fields, I built the church to the nether, and I made a massive cemetery. I've always wanted to make a massive cemetery in Minecraft, and I finally did. And I think it looks dope as hell, so I'm, uh, I'm excited to share that with you guys. Come on, baby. Two more combatants. Let's get in. Let's get in. Let's get after it. Now, Papa is also not exactly... Okay, I guess he is spec for PvP. Because my stats... I guess I could pump Vigor. I could get a thousand points into Vigor. So I, I'm not, I'm not min-maxed for PvP. But I do have a Wondrous Flask that'll help. I've got Uplifting Aromatics that I could use to protect me and my team. I'm not going to, though, because fucking Arteria Leafs are a rare commodity. Wait, is it Arteria Leaf? Or is it Blood Rose? I don't fucking know. Alright, someone backed out. We're back down to three again. Cancel! Cancel! The match has been cancelled! Let's enter Coliseum Combat. Internet at work is so bad, I just want to say hi and I'll watch this when I get home. Alright, Rowdy! Have a good shift. Appreciate you stopping in. Oh, one combatant. We're closer than we've ever been. Yeah! Assembled! Alright, let's do it. I gotta remember. I gotta remember how to drink my Estus. I gotta remember how to dodge and roll. I gotta remember that I've got Bloodhound Step. <laughs> I hate mages! I hate mages! Hello! Yes, yes, welcome! Alright, let's do it. Hey. Your mother. Oh my god, one hit. Good for him. That was Royal Knight's Resolve, and I was a fucking idiot. That that man put on the, the one-shot crusher with the big hammer, and I was a fucking idiot. And I am going to get him back for that. Yeah, I am. Ooh! You got one of those, do ya? Wow, good for him. That guy's poisy. This guy, I hate mages. He's got a good ass build. This guy is specced. Oh, dude. That was, I guess that was my fault for not looking. He got the drop on me. I've played so much Kirby, guys. I've been having fun, okay? Elden Ring requires dedication. Two for flinching. Oh, I'm dead again. I got him, but I'm dead. 
double cross spears. That guy's probably got a dex build that don't quit. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm letting down I hate mages here, though. I really am. Yeah, you can't get a backstab, bitch! Fuck you trying to do getting a backstab on this shit. Ah, oh, that was dumb. Oh, jump attacks! We're doing jump attacks again. And then we do this! Goodbye! Here comes the Royal Rights Resolve! Yeah. Yeah, then that happened. Oh, God damn it! Why do they keep spawning on top? Oh no, I hit mages! Pew pew! Ooh. Good for him. Are they on top of me? At least they're not on top of me spawning here. This guy's like, I hate mages. Well, I am the mage, my man. Yeah. Watch this. I'm gonna pretend I'm over here, casting on this guy. Oh, maybe not. Good for him. Will you just cut that out? Sir. 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 Look at that poise! Look at that poise! See, this guy, he's... I Hate Mages is, is defending me. We're watching each other's back, and it's really working. I'm almost out of blue, though. Never mind, we're back in business! Bye! Step. I keep forgetting to blood out step away. Wow, we killed each other. God damn. Yeah, he's going for the one hit smack, and so it's my fault that I've died the past three, four times. 100%. This guy, though, I hate mages. He, he's crushing it with that build. Yeah? <laughs> so, a mage and I hate mages. He got more kills than me, though, which makes sense. I mean, I got killed by that hammer four or five times. Victory! But, uh, like, that's it. That's all it takes. He he was watching my back when I was casting. I, I would occasionally turn and, you know, cast over on him, get a kill. That That's it. That's, that's the game. That is team-based PvP. So, it is what it is. One more pop of whispers, then maybe some with death. And then I promise we'll get to the slushy. Now again, fully spec for PvP, no, because I, I just don't have the time for it. You really gotta work up a whole build. Like, if I was fully spec for PvP, I would have the, I think it's the Opal tier, so that I would be able to tank one hit. I would have, like, 70 Vigor. I'd be using the Lusat Glintstone Staff with, with, done. definitely not Comet Azor, but probably also not, not Stars of Ruin. I probably should just be using whatever the, the six shot one is. Now, I am uh, by no means an authority on from PvP. 
Great shielding is fun, but there's so many builds that work against it. Like, I great shielded with Gilmit, and I got some counters in, and you know, you're very slow. You can get some shield crashes, you can get some hits with a mace, or so, do some Royal Knight's Resolve like he did, and BAP. But like, if you're facing a mage, if you're facing uh, a, a dex user that's got a long weapon, it, it's just... And I think, I think that's why they buffed Great Shields and Great Maces and Colossal Weapons so much. Like, the past three updates to this game, I think, have all been buffs to that stuff. It's because it's fun, super fun, and viable for PvE. But they've always struggled in PvP because it's like a balance, you know? You've got this massive weapon. It's got to be slow. It's got to be easy to read. But if you get hit with it, it's got to be super punishing. Which it sort of is. Like... It's it's not that easy to dodge Moonveil. It's a fast, long-reaching sword. So when it hits, it shouldn't be as punishing as a skull-crushing mace, except it's more punishing. Moonveil will one, maybe two shot you. If you're spec'd for it. If you just put the slightest bit of points into intelligence, dexterity, and, and then you just get a bunch of focus points and you just mash the big blue bolt. And, and that's the thing about Moonveil, too. Like, it's like, get good, dodge it. I get that, I do. I've dodged it several times during during our time here today. I also missed the dodge once or twice. And on that once or twice, I died because Moonveil is fucking abysmal. My character, well actually that was Mama. My character has super high magic defense because I'm spec for magic, so Moonveil shouldn't one shot me. It'll definitely two shot me. It'll rock my world. It'll mess me up fun time. Let's do this. Let's run out here real quick. Let's come back in. Honestly, I, I started doing PvP today because I just wanted to, like, spend 20 minutes, maybe, waiting for people to trickle in. And uh, now it's going on an hour here. Because it is fun. I have to say, what I love about this PvP is that it really... There, there really is nothing to it. You go into an arena, and you respawn. That's the thing. It's not one invader, one lucky hit, one enemy comes out of nowhere and gives them the upper hand. You go into a place, you smack each other's in the face, you, you, you punch each other in the tits, and then that's it. One person gets a little crown for most kills, one team wins, the points absolutely don't matter. It's what you bring to it. So if you, if you bring a bunch of teabagging and the match is over, backstab, backstab, get good scrub, spin point down, drop dung pile, if, that, if that's what it takes for you to have fun, go with God. Ah, it's taking too long. Let's try one more PvP with death. So that. Let's try PvP with death. I have so much fun with death, because death is simple. Death is point and click. Sprint around, use scythe, spinny spinny. I've gotten a couple of best combatants as destined death. That was fun. I also think death just looks dope as hell, so like Maybe that's maybe that's hardcore weeb shit, but I, I like just knowing that I'm standing across someone in the Coliseum and it's it's just a, a robed reaper. Let's see here. I put in that, that, uh I went for non-physical. Interesting. And what's in my flask here? So yeah, death also isn't like specced. Wait, is this the K oh this is the Caleb Coliseum. That means we can spirit summon. Death doesn't have a lot of spirits to summon. Let's head back to the Table of Grace and we'll do the Limb Grave. I've had some fun matches where even I felt like a shit eater as Papa Whispers. Because I it would go in like 3v3 and like everybody would summon their mimics. And, and I summoned the fucking eagle. And the eagle is just spinning around, pissing them off because they can't hit it. And then I whack him in the back. Or I summon Battle Mage Hughes as Papa Whispers. And, and I hit them with a comet, and they dodge out, and fucking Battle Mage Hughes hits them with a comet. <laughs> this is bullshit! I get that. I do. Alright, uh, venue. Now let's go to the Limgrave Coliseum. Uh, prohibit any number united. We also, we could do a 3v3 every man for themselves, but I don't like that because, uh, how, to, how to put this? When it's a free-for-all, it's very easy for one person to stay in the back and very skillfully just snipe kills. And that, that is exactly what you should do, and that's why I don't like it. Like, 
free-for-all betrays the sense of, ah, clashing swords, two people locked in a fight, a third person cuts in between them, they, ah, blah, blah, blah. that's not what happens. It's a bunch of people running around and one person in the back like, this guy's almost dead, meh, this guy's almost dead, meh. And then they rack up 12 kills that they did nothing to earn, and they're like, I win. Come on, there we go. All right, we are assembled. So I start off with flame grant me strength. I might put blood flame on my scythe, and then we're just going to go to town. I'm going to go, we're going to go get some heads. The biggest thing with this build is quick roll. Quick roll and the reach of the scythe makes me very hard to hit, and I bet it's frustrating as all hell. I faced one guy with two scythes, and I, I chopped him up. All right, it's a fat guy and the Reaper. There's your first mistake. There's your second mistake. Oh, you one of them? How did that miss you? Oh, you want to get distance? Oh, are you a caster? You a caster, bro? Moonveil! Fucking Moonveil! Jesus Christ. God, I hate Moonveil. Ooh, he dodged through that. This guy's this guy's doing good distance, I I'll give it to him. Gotcha! No, oh, I, sh I shouldn't have- I shouldn't have let him do that. I knew exactly what he was going for. Come on, hyped guy, we gotta stay in this! Yep, that opal, that's what saved him. Oh, are you out of FP? Are you out of focus points, my dude? That, that's a good strat. I feel that strat. I feel it. He goes for a dodge and a poke. But, that'll happen. Wow, I missed him! Looks like that hurt. Yeah, guy, you can't one note pony here. Gotcha. This this guy is a one note pony. Come on, get it. Hype guy, that is not the play. I'm sorry. It's just very much not the play. Oh, Christ. Why did I change? Where's my fucking scythe? Good for him. Hype guy! Do something! Stop being afraid of dying! Stop using Shabriri's howl! I don't think we have the upper hand here. Oh, well, there goes Hype guy.
Did he kill the mage too? Huh. Nice. There you go, hype guy. Big wins. Big wins. All right, I think we got this one. I think we got this one. Yeah, that's right. You got a backstab that did nothing to me. There we go. Yay! Couple victories. Oh, oh, good. Thank you, physics. Thank you for preventing my death upon loss. I appreciate it. What do you guys think? Is it time to? Is it time to get back into mama? We supposed to? We gonna go do more mamalin and more malazamalin? You guys want to see one more death match? My eyes the. The red that I made? Yeah, yeah, they are. Yeah, all right, let's do one more. We'll do one more, take it right to an hour. What should I put on it this time? Maybe frost? Damn, I was shoveling snow and I think I fucked up my arm. We got dumped on. We got a blizzard I was not expecting. Like, it was, it was wet, warm, and rainy. And then snow starts falling. And it just keeps falling. Until like 3 in the morning and I wake up and my car's buried. It's like, where was this Christmas morning? Honestly, I mean, I guess I should do this. Uh, let's take out Twiggy and... It's in the, and that's for the one hit, right? Uh, yep, alright, we'll, we'll do Opaline. We'll, we'll try hard. We'll try hard for the, for the lulls. I mean, Opaline does make sense. Like, the most powerful attack in the game. A, a Royal Knight Resolve buffed Giant Crusher... Fully charged heavy attack will do five damage to you if you've got Opaline on. I'm pretty sure it is capped. I'm pretty sure that that tier takes any attack and is like, nope. Come on, two combats. Two combats. Let's go, let's go, let's go. One combat. America, America's seen better days. She ain't looking too hot. Yay! Combatis! Assembly! That's also a, you know, it's a mixed bag. You don't know what you're gonna get. You can get three mages, you can get three guys running Grand Sack or Dragon Head shout spam. It really could be anything. Mike Tyson. Oh god, it's just wanna watch again. Nice double poke. I don't know how I didn't catch him on that. Good backstab, good back, good job teammate. That's how we do things, cheap.
Oh, are you gonna do something cool? Look at us, all three of us are just attacking the same people. That is how you do it. That is how you do it. Good for him. Hello! This guy gave up. Oh, come on, guy. Don't give up. All right. This scythe's reach is disgusting. All right. Let's have some fun. Moonvale, all right. Woo! Oh God, my controller's not running. Yeah, I have gotten a little bit of stick drift on this controller. It's causing me some distress. track there. Oh, he's dead. Yeah, we're definitely winning this one. Hey, puppers! My holiday was incredible. How about yours? I did so much nothing. I played Minecraft. I didn't have to work. Oh, he's gonna hate me. Yeah. And then that happened. I just want to watch is actually going to win one. I'm glad, Buffers, and I'm glad to see you here. We are back. The plan is Mama Lasagna today. I guess they give up. Oh my god, eaten. It was the greatest combat. Woo, yeah, just to death. That's right. We slice it and dice it and bring people back to the, the, the forward to the, 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 uh, the afterlife, the party of the, yeah, just to death. All right. Oh yeah, see, look at that. Look at that, if I hold up on my controller, he just does a, sometimes he runs and sometimes he does a very slow walk. Goddamn stick drift, man. Can I please like invest? In a, a controller made entirely of metal pieces. I'll dip that thing in oil and, and use it if I have to. Like, I am so sick of stick drift killing my controllers. I have three controllers here. Yeah, look, there, that's me pressing up. And he's not moving. Ay, ay, ay. All right, let's get out of here. Let's go rev up the lasagna.
Today we're conquering the cursed slushy. I don't think it'll take too long. That's why I spent an hour on PvP. I don't think I want to go too long with this stream. Maybe two hours. Just something to get back into the groove. And I think I want to stream something tomorrow. Uh, I don't know if I'll do like a New Year's Eve. Come join me at the turning of the clock, etc., etc. So if you see Mama freaking out here, I'm trying to... Uh, like, Microsoft, you're a fucking billion dollar company, and you sell these fucking shit controllers for 60 to 70 dollars. Can you make them last longer than a month? I don't throw my controllers either. I don't huck them at walls. I don't stomp on them. I, 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 I treat my controllers with reverence. Occasionally, I drop it. But uh, you think that would fuck up anything else? Not, not the goddamn important piece of the machinery. Smite streams would be hilarious with the new channel point rewards. Actually, you're very, you're very right about that. I didn't think about that. There is great potential to fuck me and my team over in Smite with the new channel point redemptions. That, uh, that rings true. Those are, those are facts, puppers. I might have to consider that now. I didn't want to do a Smite stream. I haven't done them in, you know, months, obviously, because, I don't know, Smite just puts me in a horrible place. Like, even right there, even Dark Souls PvP with Mr. Teabag point down, get good scrub, like, that, that mildly frustrated me compared to what Smite does. Planned Obsolution. They make them cheap to make them expensive to buy. Yeah, no, absolutely. Now, that, that's a tale as old as fucking time. Alright, so I need to check here. Do I have the Ronnie doll? Do I have the Ronnie Matthews doll in my inventory? <laughs> I've got a lot of bell bearings. I don't have the Ronnie Matthews doll. Where is Ronnie Matthews? She wouldn't be at her rise, would she? I didn't check on her after I did all this, the stuff, so we'll, we'll go see. Alright, Mama's out here. We got our spatula. We got our meatballs. We got our ass. Our ass of 40 flavors. It, 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 it like, it, 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 it wounds me. It's been making Minecraft hard. I don't mind telling you. Alright, so she's not here, so we'll just we'll say that we do have. We'll say that we do have the duo. Oh. <laughs> ah, this game is dangerous. All right, let's head over to the portal. We'll do some slushying. We'll kill some some fused shadows or whatever the hell she needs me to do. Thank you. I hope that wasn't expensive. I'll be real, guys. I was this close to starting a Dark Souls 2 run through. I thought, do I start Dark Souls 2 or, or do Elden Ring? And it was close. I said, no, I'm in the middle of a Red Dead Redemption story, a Dying Light story, just the for fun mama run. I don't think I can, I can throw another <laughs> Spect character into the mix. But it is coming. From day one, I said I will stream a Dark Souls 2 run, and I will. Dark Souls 2 uh, remains my favorite Souls game. And I'm actually, uh, I'm excited, because I've said it before as well, uh, for everybody that loves Elden Ring, I'm excited to see how much Elden Ring you spot in Dark Souls 2. Because there's quite a bit. I don't think Elden Ring would have been possible without Dark Souls 2. If I'm being, if I'm being completely honest. Full stop, full send it, no cap, on fleek, 420, YOLO, swaggins. Shut the fuck up, don't blame me. Don't blame me for the age I was born into. Don't hate the game, hate the players. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh, there's the miniature Ronnie! Hello, miniature Ronnie! You wanna talk to me? You all give me missions, love. You wanna tell Mama Lou where to go, where it hurts? Point to the lasagna, where did it hurt you? Hi on livestream! Uh, again, puppers, that is another one I really wanna play, and one day I might stream it. 
But with the remasters coming out and the six fucking games that I'm currently streaming because I'm a moron, um, I don't want to add another new game to the mix. And High on Life, I've seen, I've seen nothing but clips. I know that it's a long game. It's got a lot of uh, just narration, and, and I want to do it. Fuck it, who knows? I did actually get paid today, so we'll see. Uh, let's talk to Miniature Ranny. I saw this doll in WoW. Right there, I took a vow that we'd be together, girl, just you and me. That's the meaning of eternity. Oh, a dogged fellow, aren't we? I ain't no fellow. Or is it merely thy habit to talk to dolls? Fine. Fine. I hadn't expected any soul to recognize me in this guise. But now the cat. It's literally a doll of yourself! I allow thee thy freedoms. Perform for me a service as recompense. Eliminate the baleful shadows which prowl these lands. The name I'll do you one better. I will provide you a dinner service. Thee. I will not brook disobedience in this matter. The game is majestic. Yeah. Yeah, there's there's a lot. Eliminate the uh, servants, baleful shadow, not. Ronnie the whiff, brook the quarter, drawn in quarter. Actually, I'm remembering now, this this will take a little bit, because we don't just go to the slushy. We have to go through... We have to go through Noxtella, Nocron, Nostradamus, Eternal City. We, we got some Eternal Cities that we have to go through. With big damn ants. And these fucking things. Oh, wolf. Actually, no, not balls. I got the, I got the means to deal with this. Ouch! Oh God, Jesus! All right, that that was rude. This guy doesn't know what's coming for him. Nothing, apparently. Whole lot of nothing. And fire! I really feel I, I am disappointed. I'm. Di I feel like this dark meatball does just as much damage. Can you not hit me if I'm close to you? Oh, that is fucking. That is tough titties for you, my friend. Bye. Nice, a somber seven. I'm almost certain we needed one of those. Amazing ass, how sweet the smell. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I think that's where we want to go. I didn't do the other underside of this place, so kind of missing a map and a few bits and bobbles and tweed trinkets. I have to go back through that too. Thank you. Thank you. Give me that shit with the rolling, Mr. Rockman. You look like an anemic thing. Oh God, it's a flower. I hate the flowers. Clayman, more like layman's ashes. That's a madness flower to boot. Can I horse down? Yeah, of course not. Because why would I be able to horse in this? Boo! 
Break open, beautiful area. Oh, fuck off, plant. Fuck off, Lord of the Flowers. Forward! Man, look at that tomato, just side to side. Tomatoes for days. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this leads us to... This leads us to the big open area and the elevator that leads us down to the cursed slushy. What we will not find is the other side with the boss. No, oh, winged, winged ants. Come on, stick drift. Ah, tits. Ah, tits. That's a shieldy boy. Line it up, split the difference. Line it up, split the difference. Line it up, split the difference. Yeah, nailed it first try. Let's go. You ever play The Evil Within 1 or 2? Feel like you get a kick out of those considering how much you like Resident Evil. Um, I've seen both playthroughs. It's been a while though, so I don't recall fully. I think I would like Evil Within a lot more than I would like number 2. They took some interesting choices with two. As I recall, these guys ain't nothing to fuck with. So I go fuck with them. Just gonna hit them with dehydrated meatballs. Call it a day. Oh, that's right. I haven't been here, so I haven't killed that asshole yet. Ow. Come on, bruv, leave us alone. Fuck off with you. You know, if I was a petty man... That's how you want to play, huh? Fireball? See, the range on miracles has always just been twat waffles. Alright, I'll take that. Thank you, AoE! Not having to deal with that clock sucker is gonna make things a little bit easier going forward. Uh, so yeah, there is stuff down there, but we can't get back up here, so we're just gonna stay the course. I'll go back down there later. Get various trinkets and doodattery. And maybe even stream the boss at some point. The Wing of Estelle. Apparently, it's a really good curve sword. Noxtella, Eternal City! It's beautiful! It's bullshit! There's going to be douchebags riding ants! But I've got lightning bolts, so we'll probably just snipe them. Can't confirm, Wing of Estelle's really nice on Mage Blade style magic playthroughs. I might go back and, and look into it for Papa Whispers as his sidearm. 
ever since they nerfed uh, Bloodhound Step, it's it's not giving me the same effect. Not even like play wise. It's just like role playing. I can't shoot around like a like a thin specter, and just appear out of the mist and be like, "Wow, magic!" I gotta admit, of all the places in the game that I've been, many a time with many characters, I, I haven't been here too often. This place, this place I've only been once or twice. You know, there's all sorts of stuff to fuck up. All sorts of priests, and holy men, and look, nascent butterflies. May the meatball feed you and keep you. The ant's skull plate. I love their blue flames. I love their sterling silver pewter workery. And I think that would work. Jump attack, jump attack, jump attack, jump attack. There is stuff down there to get, and we will get that stuff, but there is stuff here that needs getting first. Yep, I recall why I hate the blorbs in this area. Oh dear. Hell yeah. Our lightning spear is doing damage. Are you a chest? Oh, you're openable! Noxel's really only good for farming larval tiers. You get like four or five alone. Also, I mean, I know you can get the, uh... The priest armor and the priestess, the, the knight whatever. Which is a pretty cool set in its own right. In fact, now that I think about it... Mama would probably look pretty good with one of those twin headpieces. Of oh, the archer ashes. Like the sterling archer ashes? Because that would be a dope summon. Bitch ass. Ass and asses. Who else? Who else wants to be tricksy? Yay! More Somber Sevens! I think I can upgrade my little dude too. Ye bitch asses and bastard boys. All right, don't worry. I've got an idea. There appears to be some stray marinara sauce on the back of your glorious headpiece, mama. Hey, if you're not getting messy in the kitchen, you're not doing the kitchen right. Certainly there's a lot of stray marinara. A lot of stray marinara in these parts. Ow. The Italians stop using it when the tomatoes went sour. Are you both watching? Are you bo Can I not do a backstab? 
Can I not do a little doodle? Oh god, oh god, it's the giant ball! Get fucked! God damn, that thing came out of nowhere! Came out of absolutely nowhere! <laughs> God rest ye merry gentlemen, let nothing you dismay. Mama's ass is coming to save Christmas Day. Oh, tidings of comfort and joy! Woo! Ah, uh, you go your whole life defending a sacred crypt, and then you get ass blasted by a 500 pound Italian Nona and end up like Peter Griffin on the ground. Look at that shit. Oh! Mama, mama brings that satisfaction. That's what Mama brings. Night Maiden and Swordstress Puppets. Good job defending your sacred relic or whatever. I'm gonna take this now. I'm gonna whip it up into a fine meringue. Do we have any- do I have any more gigantic balls I gotta worry about? Besides my own. <laughs> it's gonna be back, guys! It's gonna be back! Slowly, singularly, tearing down my self-worth piece by piece. Slowly immortalizing cringe. Crystallized cringe. That's that's what you come to get at this channel. Now see, like I'm supposed to go in there and get trapped, uh, but oh god, it's not very effective. Yeah, the stick drift's causing me not like I'm trying to do a jump forward, and it's it's fucking me. It's fucking me. The great ghost flower. I need the story on all these corpses. I need the lore. I need the deets. Why are you twisting and writhing from the stone? Why do you look like hollows? Where's old man Jenkins? Dog, dog, yeah. That is not a door. Sure wish I could have my horse back here. <laughs> oh, Mama, you're too girthy for that crevasse. All right, how do we want to play this? Uh, going in fast and dirty, quick and deep. Let's just start a chain. Oh, stick drift, you're killing me. Oh, you're not gonna go electrical, okay. There's some ass hoolery waiting for me up here. 
I think there was something over there that I missed. Of course, I missed all these chairs! Look at this decor! My little scarab. Fuck me! Woo! There we go. I thought for sure that was not going to work. I really wanted a boss fight up here. Like, you climb all of Noxtella to get up here, and there's an old boss fight on the other side, but... I really wanted a boss fight here. Did I seriously not buy the, the spyglass? Did I not get the nightjar monocular? The hell is wrong with me? I really would like one of those priestess hats. Oh, right. They do the thing. They turn into the guy. Don't dodge. Don't fucking dodge. Yeah, this, this, this inability to jump forward is kind of really fucking me. jumped right over that. What a fucking legend. And now I'm not healing? Okay. All right. Let's put this on. Sit on that man's face. Let's do one of those. Oh, priest. I have a forbidden meatball for you. And then, of course, you've got this. You've got another throne, like the many we've seen, but this throne is empty. Why? We get a cool hat. Ooh, the swordstress armor. Yeah, I think the hat would look awesome. <laughs> I still keep my rolls with me. We still got our rolls. And the whole thing is the worm. Ain't no such thing as a butterfly. Fight me. The moon of Noxtella. I was actually using that on my sorcerer for a bit, and then I realized, meh. I'll just get rid of these spells. Keep the ones that do the diablage. All right, so now we have to drop down and like, <laughs> if I can just retrace our steps, our long, fat plotting steps. Although, wait, as I recall, we can cheap shot some stuff down here, I think. At least I could as my mage. Stick Drift, if you, uh, if you walk me off this cliff, we're gonna have problems. You, you and me, we're, we're gonna have some serious problems. <laughs> oh man, Mama looks like she's been eating well. Mama, my God, get a napkin. All right, so we got that other little tower over there, this whole area. That's the elevator we need to get to and a bunch of shit we need to kill down there. I, I you know what? 
I'm going to throw on this and hopefully get myself a nice little headdress. I didn't I just forgot that I, I hadn't taken it off. The Radagon's icon is good for quick casting. That didn't do as much as I wanted. This guy's actually gonna try and hit me with that acid. Fucking legend. Alright, I'll deal with you later. I will deal with you later, young man. All sorts of bullshit down here that needs wrestling and wrestling. Why can they ride ants, but I can't ride my horse? What's wrong with my horse, huh? I seen the butterfly. There it is. I got the butterfly. So guys, get this. I got fucking copyright claimed on my first Fallout video. Yeah, the main theme. The fucking the title screen the blah 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 da, 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 da. yeah I got copyrighted for from minute thirty to like four minutes so I basically had to cut out my whole intro on that video uh, and just I I replaced it with just a song just just a nice little relaxing like song I I was. <laughs> I was a little peeved, I will admit. I was a little peeved by that. So now, no more title screen for Fallout. We're just going straight into Ass Blaster when, when, the, when the spirit moves us, when the time comes. I gotta make sure to get plenty of Formic Rock. I really think the range on Lightning Spear needs a buff. It's... It's tracking isn't as good as uh, as Glintstone Shard. Its damage is alright, and its cost is supreme, so like... Buff me up, Buttercup. Why do you feed me up? Buttercup, baby, just to blast my ass. Blasting my ass, I need you! Woo! Come on, give me that cone head. Eee, bitch. Did I not kill? Oh, I didn't kill it! Oh, I didn't kill the fucking scarab! Oh, my absolute testicles in and around your mouth, game! Fuck! I don't like that the glint stays. Ahem, <clears throat> excuse me. Pardon me. Hopefully this won't crash my game. The last time I tried to load in to this city, the game crashed because I killed everything and, like, it was trying to load the corpses. I actually had to mash the map and go back to the round table hold or I never would have been able to play my first character ever again. Yeah, ultimate sadness. Yeah, ultimate sadness. Absolutely, puppers. Are you serious? Is this fucking thing serious? Oh, now you're dead. I think that I think that was a blue scarab. I think that was that was one of them Estus, uh, the, I'm sorry, Cerulean tier scarabs. So not necessary. A complete waste of time. What was that about ultimate sadness? What's the evolved form of ultimate sadness? Giga Gigathon Sad Boy, EX. Wait a minute. 
Where the hell were those... Where were those plated ants, then? Because I only killed the one. Where were the face-plated ants? Was I supposed to drop down to them? Hmm. Ultimate thrice cream? <laughs> that seems like the cure to ultimate sadness, wouldn't it be? And then, in the year 2333, he was beset by ultimate thrice cream. Was I just dumb? I took the elevator around and didn't go behind, didn't I? And the only way to get back there is to fucking go up there. Oh, okay. All right. All right, it's pressing on. Pressing on. Why are lightning blorbs not immune to lightning? Pathetic blorbs. Pathetic. That's where the boss is. And there's giant throne corpse lady. I, I'm so fascinated by this lore. I mean, if you're lactose intolerant, ultimate thrice cream is the cause for mega giga chad mondo sadness. Yeah, okay. I, I will concede that point. If you're lactose intolerant, I can't imagine ultimate thrice cream doing you a lot of favors. Don't, don't mind me, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna head over here. Back, back the way I was. Alright, 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 alright. Alright, 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 Drop the base! Well, by base, I was uh, actually referring to uh, Mama's superior derriere, also known as her ass. Oh, you know what? I haven't done one of these in a while. Ah, uh, wasn't close enough. Fuck your aunt. Fuck your giant aunt. Fuck your aunt and your uncle! Did you die? She died. She died. Everybody died. It's cool. It's cool. Everybody died. I see you, Zap. I see you, Zap. Snail! I want to remind myself, what is my most expensive asset here? Uh, Lying Spear only does 18, so that's probably that one. Oh, no, this is the same. Spitting is beneath you. All right, now it's a party. Ow. This is not my kind of party. So many freaking snails. And as I recall, there's nothing up here for me. Just more snails. Yep. Nothing up here. Just snails. It's 
So we've still got, yeah, that little building there we've got to go into. And then this area over here. So I'm going to I'm gonna do these badlands first. Oh, Celestial Do. Oh, do go on. Seek item. Okay. Again, the item because the message told me to, and it would never lie. Thank God, a silver tear husk. You know, for a second there, I thought I was gonna go without silver husks for Christmas. Why is that not just killing you outright? See, that's just as good, in my opinion. In one man's humble opinion, might as well just hit him with two lightning bolts. I really wanted the massive meatball to do more. What's my faith? Ah, my faith is low. I'm happy with all those stats exactly where they are except faith. Yeah, my, my next, like, 20 points are going into faith. I need faith at 80. I gotta sing the praises of the lasagna. Oh, that looked like it hurt. Oh, that looked like it hurt. Oh! There we go. See, Mama's great for PvE. Mama, Mama gets it done. Mama bakes biscuits in PvE. PvP, it's just, it's hard. It's hard to make colossal weapons work. Especially this one, because its weapon art is as slow as its attacks. Like, it's not a lot of saving grace. I could supplement it with various miracles, but I made her a brawler. I made her brawler holy. I would like to make another holy character, just for me. Make some type of priest. And have him just be, you know, miracle. Miracle based. Maybe Arcane. Um, so he wouldn't need Endurance. He wouldn't need Strength. Because he wouldn't wield a big weapon. I just want him to have floofy robes and a bunch of, you know, lightning bolts. Blind and light. Gold. Golden lightning bulb. Did I, did I miss this? No. No, I, I opened it. I opened both. Okay. All right, so we did the big run around Sue. Let's take care of this building, and then I think we can head down to the Cursed Slushy. Thankfully, Mama's well specced in the healing arts, and that's going to make the Cursed Slushy area a lot better. Can you imagine having Mama Bloodhound step that? <laughs> oh, please give me your hat. That'll make me a heavy... How many, how many silver feet do I? Oh, yeah, yeah. Give me your hat. I want to see what Mama looks like with that nice point to get up. And... More armor. Yeah. The ghost glove for its name. All right, hang on, hang on. I has plan. I has potential plan. Planality, if you will. This way, all the things will reset too, and so I won't have to worry about getting murdered. Okay! Do go on! Only I, Nicola, and Melania could claim that title. Each of us was chosen by our own two fingers. Oh. As a candidate to succeed Queen Marathon. So that means Radagon wasn't. To become the new god of the coming age. 
Radagon and Rikard were not Empyreans. In the form of a vassal tailored for an Empyrean. But I would not acquiesce to the two fingers. I stole the rune of death. Slew mine own Empyrean flesh. Nope, nope, nope. That tracks. Away, I would not be con The two fingers and I have been cursing each other ever since. And the baleful shadows are their assassins. I turned my back on the two fingers. The baleful Alrighty, dear. That sounds nice. Are you a priest? Can I get the headpiece from you? I think I can! I'm probably going to be really upset with the headpiece, but uh, I want it! I've always wanted it! Mama gets what mama wants. Let's try something else here. Uh, let's try the forbidden meatball. That was alright. Render your hat unto Caesar. Alright, let's try the Mighty Meatball. Do Pyros scale equally with intelligence and faith in this one? Maybe that's why. Maybe maybe I need I know I certainly would need the Giant's Catalyst. That that that, that just increases fire. Done. Done like dinner! The Sorcerer's Crown! Sweetheart, how you doing? Yeah. What's wrong, love? Alright, everybody, time to check on Mama's fresh duds! So, right off the bat here, it will make us heavy. It has better poise and a few resistances. <laughs> oh, it covers our face, though. <laughs> and it can't contain our chin. Our chin looks like balls now. We look like Peter Griffin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, the Dumple. The Mighty Dumple. All right, let's keep on the let's keep on the finger fillet. It's got fillet right in the name, right? How could I change it? It was it was pretty beautiful, Kiwi. It was, it was. Not everyone. Yeah, 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 I got everything up there. I just need to run through to the elevator and ignore all this bushitari. <laughs> Gotta go into the slushy. You gotta kill some things in slushy. Oh man, did we make a mistake? I think we might have made some mistakes thinking that we were gonna be fine. Your aim sucks, nerds! Is the ant still following me? Oh well. Things that follow me never follow me. I'll ignore them, I'm fine. Ha ha! There's another one. You guys wouldn't follow me onto an elevator, would you? You wouldn't do that. You fucking ants can't come in here. It's far too small. You, just, you would never just... <laughs> oh, man. I, I thought I was going to eat shit. I thought he was going to come right in. I was going to give it the ass blast and pray. That was it. <laughs> it actually did stop. Hallelujah. All right. So we got a slight path to the cursed slushy. And then we just gotta slush our way through. We gotta slush up the asshole. We gotta slush up the boss. We gotta slush our way to the cloister slushy. We're gonna be slurping a lot of slush today. Of course, we also gotta take out the baleful chateau.
this is a nice little place to just rest. Oh yeah, we are. <laughs> we are a mountain in the ocean. Mama looking like a volcano out here. Oh, the panic. Nah, Kiwi, calm, cool, collected. As the day is long, no panic here, no guesswork. Everything is tactile. Tactically, tactfully, tactile. Everything is, 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 is measured to the screw thread. Listen to the insects cricket and chirp. Smith and Stone. Smith and Stone. Prepare to be invaded by the baleful shadow. Hey, baleful bitch boy! Come get you, baleful. Oh, shadow. I said bail out, but. Thou art the last. Thou art the last. That rock. Ah. It's not doing anything! It's not stopping him! Did you just... Beautifully fought. Now, yeah, what it was? Stand before them. Hooray! Oh, well, my dear. Tell Bly and EG. I love them. Alright, that sure was whatever you said about stuff. Alright, we have gotten the discarded palace key, so we can now go get the chest. That leads down to the cloister. Well, the, it leads down to the cursed slushy sea, which leads to the cloister. All right, we're doing well. How many gold feet do I have? Six golden feet. Hallelujah. Smash it! <laughs> Watch his mama sit on a guy five times in a row. Smash it! I want it now. Can you show me? I don't think I know the rest of the words to that song. All right, so I am going to need flame cleanse me, and I think we also have. Uh... Oh my God! I still no, no. I have. I've done the first area. So wait a minute, I should have the stalwart horn. Hmm. Doesn't matter. Pressing on. Let's also throw on our gold scarab. Welcome, Harry. To the cursed slushy sea. That song is still so fucking good. Ah, yeah, I mean. When songs are on fire, they're on fire. That's just how it is. I hate this place. This fucking miserable place is a bag of dick holes and dildos. Hey, I don't know if I recommended it on stream because I can't recall if I watched it when I was still streaming or not. Uh, go see Bullet Train, guys. Brad Pitt, other people. Amazing. Very Tarantino. Uh, good action. Funny. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to... I'm gonna run around the outside here, just eating the rot, and then I'm gonna... I'm gonna rest. You know what, actually? Let's put on Radagon. This'll help. I think. I think I cast faster. So much strawberry slush! 
Somber smithing stone eight. Uh, Alright, where am I heading? There's a guy out there I gotta kill and some switches I gotta press. You know what? I, wa I might want to respect the miracle for the, uh... The regeneration. That might be the play. I have no immunity to rot. None at all. Hey, what's happening? I actually prefer raspberry slush. Look, nobody said we wanted strawberry slush. We're just in the cursed lake of strawberry slush. Me, I could probably take any type of slush. I love raspberry with most anything. Uh, apple slush ain't bad, but the sour would make my teeth hurt in my old age. Peach slush. I do like, I, I gotta say, I fuck with a Coke slush. That is, that is one of the staples I would always get whenever I went to Burger King way, way, way back in the day. I did love me a Coke slushy. Too bad Raddy's not here. She would totally be hitting me with Blinded by the Sight. And I'd be running through just a blurry red patch of bullshit. Alright, that man has to die. He just does. Gives us our immunizing immunizing horn charm number one. You asked for it. God damn it, Kiwi! Son of a dick! Dick Van Horns, alright, alright, hang on. It is 12.25. I cannot see until 12.30. Fuck! Fuck us! Um Dildos. Um, all right. Let's let's go back to the let's go to the shore. Let's throw on this immunizing charm. Kiwi cock ass. Yeah, yeah, this one. That should raise my immuno immunito. Where the hell am I going? I, I I can't see where the first button is. It's all blurry and red. Oh, hey, we found the map. Go, mama, go, mama, go. Go, mama, go, mama, go. All right. Helpful. Helpful. Good, good. That's what I needed, rot grease. Skylar, there's rot. Oh boy. Alright, this is fine. This is fine. Everything's fine. Okay. Everything's fine. Damn it, I rolled in the red. Do oh, I have soap? I need soap. No, 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 no. I'm soaping up. Let me soap up, damn you. I'm lathering up. When I first started playing this game and I was playing with Atticus, I, I couldn't stop making that joke. I'm still sure it's on stream somewhere. Because it's weapon grease, so whenever we would get invaded, like, I'd run off and be like, Hang on! Hang on, I'm greasing up! I'll be right there, I just gotta finish greasing! I'm gonna grease my sword, it's a two-hander. Those are basilisks, Occam. They are the uh, quintessential, quintessential insta-kill enemy of the Dark Souls series. They're, they're fake eyes that are like gas sacks. Their eyes are actually like down by their mouth. And uh, they're usually in controlled areas where your movement is hampered like here in the lake or like on tree branches. And they blast a gas that gives the, uh, the insta-kill. They're insta-kill bitch boys. Big old dick lickens.
don't think there's a switch up here. I can't see if there's items out there. I can't see what time it is. They, 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 they don't suck horribly. It, it's one of those things that it's just, if you know what they are, you know how to avoid them. Here's the thing. They don't have an actual attack. That's all that they do in this game. And in Dark Souls 3, and I'm pretty sure in Dark Souls 1, they just, they blast the, the, uh, the insta-kill gas. In Dark Souls 2, because Dark Souls 2 is, I, I will maintain, the hardest Souls game, they gave them an attack. They do this spinning jump dive bomb that flattens you. It pancakes you. So not only do they hit you and do damage, but you're stuck on the ground for other ones to just fart in your fucking nostrils and kill you instantly. All right, I need great heal. Okay, it's that one. There we go. All right, I've still got a charge of flame cleanse me. So we're gonna keep that equipped. Yay, we're dead center in the period C. See, if you stop to fight these things, I mean, that, that'd be a very bad idea. I don't typically stop. I let them come to me. Like the little bitch boys that they are. Get it, get it, get it! Alright! Uh, oh good, I get my eyes back. <laughs> Wonderful. Wonderful. Alright, uh, what else is there here? There's that over there. Ah! Alright, we're, we're, we're probably gonna have to do another warp to get back here. I opened up the switches on this side. But I need to hit that switch and I need to get some items over there. So... We're gonna be safe adults about this. I think my next step is that way. Hey guys, can you find Mama? Ah, she plugs right in, doesn't she? All that marinara. It's like digital camo. I even throw one of those on. Yep. Right, you know, I could fight him with double decker lasagna. My Cornish gain hand and my storm, my giant rats are almost uh, fully upgraded too. In fact, after that Nocron trip, Noxtella, after that narcotic city trip, we might have everything we need to upgrade some spirits. I believe, Mama, I believe! Yeah, not even close. They, uh, Scarlet Rot sucks, but it is not as bad as Toxic from the other Souls games. And even this Lake of Rot is not as bad as some other areas. Blight Town in Dark Souls 1 is fucking terrible. And uh, the Gutter and Black Gulch. Black Reach or Black Gulch? Uh, where you fight the Rotten is fucking awful. I, guys, I'm so excited to play Dark Souls 2 for you because even even in this game, there are things that Dark Souls 2 did differently or in my, my belief better, and I've said it before, dynamic environment. There's so much that affects you in Dark Souls 2. Where you go, you go into the foggy woods, you've got to navigate the fog with invisible things trying to stab you in the back that you can't lock onto. You go into the gutter and it's pitch black. You need to keep a torch with you and light as you go. I, I, God, I can't say enough good things about Dark Souls 2. It had its flaws, certainly, but there's a lot of games out there. I shouldn't say that. I, I, I should be more specific. There's a lot of, like, sequels or, or games that are, are beloved out there that have far worse problems than Dark Souls 2. I'm not really sure why Dark Souls 2 received so much hate. There's been many uh, an online essay and, and a contentious debate raised as to Dark Souls 2. Is it amazing or is it trash? I'm firmly in the, the camp of it, if it being amazing. No, don't, 
Hmm, we almost stick drifted right off, and I'm here I was trying to deliver some ass to the children for Christmas. Come sit on mama's ass and tell me what you want, sweetheart. All right, we are gonna do fire cleanse me. I'm gonna do a great heal. I am going to save that blue, and then we're gonna use an Estus for double decker lasagna, who we are going to fight with. Yeah, the, the, we might actually have enough to finally get the whole Ratatouille crew. It's my plan, anyway. I'm excited for it. Oh, yeah, you know, come, we're, we're gonna need the flame cleanse me for this. All right, I've got my golden foot. Got my golden scarab. I have got one double decker lasagna. Do I have enough for a great heal? Shh, yeah, of course I don't. And now we're gonna kill it with fire! Way up, asshole! Oh man, the, the drift's getting bad. Oh my god! Alright, that's respectable. Right at the gate. God damn it, I torched him! Holy fuck! Double decker lasagna, you got this! I right. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it! Woo! Oh yeah, we did it! Cool 90,000! I... Freaking did not think that my my flame on would do quite that much damage, but shows me the fool. I'm actually very worried about the uh, the boss in this area. It's why I didn't do the harder version up in um, the consecrated snowfield. The, the boss in this area is, like, floating and very fast with hard-hitting moves. I'm s I am slow. I'm, I'm a chonky lasagna. I might have to just spam him with lightning bolts, if I'm being honest here. Oh, I missed a monument. It's right over there. Okay. Probably isn't worth it, but... A little bit after half. There we go. A little bit after half. I think I went through 75 Scarlet Boluses when I came here with my first guy because I couldn't use Flame Cleanse Me. Right, ladder, path. I think I'm I think I'm set up for success here. Man got a single attack of yeah? Yeah, we fucked that man up. Alabaster sword! That is not the spell that I need. She jukes! She jives! All right, Alabaster Light Sword. Yay! This fall will kill us. Taint no getting around that. This fall will kill us dead. Cursed slushy ain't complicated. It's a bit of a drag, but it ain't complicated. We're close now. Just gotta get through that miserable area, kill some insects and some other things, and then we can take on the boss. And that will be one cursed slushy conquered. Oh, you fucking dildo.
Now, do I need to come out here? No. Do I need any of these butterflies? No. Is it a risk? Needless, purposeless, functionless? Yes. I'm not doing it anyway. Well, I'm already done, so like, duh. I'd be, oh, but, but, I missed some butterflies. Man, if only I had a ghost horse that was immune to status effects. That'd just be peachy keen. Did my Estus really only heal me that much? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm at max. I thought for sure that would heal me full. little detour onwards to the cloister Oh, we should be able to rest right here. Lightning, I'm definitely gonna want that. Load up the gold. Oh, I thought there was an item back here. I love looking at the, uh, the work on the walls, seeing if I can glean anything from it. Alright, where the fuck am I going? You ain't be hiding secrety doodles on me now, would you, game? My stars. Tain't nothing here. The Grand Cloister! We have arrived. Oh, that's a centipede, actually. Ah, oh, there's the item. Woo, -hoo, mama! Easy, looking, living life on the edge, there, girl. A lot of bitches here, a lot of bitch asses, so we'll take it slow and murder them up. Some strong bitch asses. Is it my first pest glaive, really? <laughs> Come on, stick drift, not now. Stick drift, stick stuck. Alright, so I need a flame cleanse me. And, I need a double deck of lasagna. A 
not do it. Shit, that was my mistake. Go, double decker lasagna, go! Did I not cleanse? What the fuck? Probably my mistake. Go get it, lasagna! Go get it! Woo -hoo -hoo. Yeah. Sir! Sir! Oh. oh, I think he got double deck of lasagna. Is it just me or is that doing absolutely nothing to him? Lasagna! He seems angry with me. Nice! Double decker coming in clutch. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good day. Six and eight. Yeah, we're doing fine. <laughs> Let's see what the black ball does to the, the insects. Maybe I can hurt them more with this. Nah, it was decent. Thank you, Double Deck Lasagna. God, Jesus, he's dead, man. He's dead. Just all dropping pest glaives. Come on, stick. Now is not the time. Another reason I don't think I can play Smite right now. This stick would murder me. Walking when I need to run. Oh, yeah, the scorpion stinger. All right, I'm confident in our abilities to go down there and get absolutely destroyed. Let's do it! We gotta ride the slush. Mom, I don't... Mom, I, I just don't think you're gonna fit. Girl, I don't think it's gonna work. Oh! Oh, she's squeezing over the side. Meow. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, hey, I hope you enjoyed the stream today. Let's uh, do what we can to kick the shit out of this last boss. And uh, I'm back, baby. Hope to see you guys in the potential New Year's stream that I do tomorrow. I'll send it out on Discord to let you all know. Hope you enjoyed some mama lasagna. It's been a while since she's graced our door. I'm probably going to stuff my face for with food when I'm done here. Oh, man. Her, her beautiful frog eyes. They always get me. I don't think there's a grace down here. You know, I'm pretty sure I just need to forge on. And I cannot summon another double-decker lasagna. I don't think.
All right, everybody, come hella high water. Here we go. I stand natural born of the void. Let's see, because this is a mid-game boss, and I'm decidedly end-game in my build, so we might crush it. We might. The one in the consecrated snowfield, that could very easily crush me, though. Yeah, lightning's doing good work. Where'd you go, Bubbala? I just came from there. Please, I've dodged bigger lasers than Kirby. Try the meatball. Forbidden meatballs! That was pretty nice. Big fire, mighty meatball. It did hit him. Not bad. Keep hucking meatballs, mama. Ah, I'm out of meatballs. I'm wondering how good this would do to him. Let's see if I can get close to this man. Oh, he's launching meteors. Him with goiter. Ooh, fuck, good for you. Coming in hot! Oh, this is where things get dicey. Aha! Not this time. I know your grab attack. I am privy to its bullshit. Surprised I haven't broken his poise, I'll admit. Woo! This is gonna hurt! Some dehydrated meatballs for that ass. got rocks too, bitch! He did not like that rock. That rock kicked his ass. God damn. Woo! Yay! Remembrance of the natural born. And a nice cool smattering of runes. GG, everybody! We now have unlocked... We've still got all... Two more underground areas to do. We've got the Upwards Plateau where there's the Black Knife... Assassin Everjail, and a whole dragon we have to kill. We've got the Hailing Tree, we gotta kill the giant and do Fair Missoula. So Mama's almost done, she's ticking those boxes. But uh, I hope you really, I uh, hope you enjoyed today's stream. I enjoyed being back. I thank you guys for being here. Uh, and yeah, I mean, that's 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 basically it. I'm, I'm back. I uh, can't wait to do some more streaming. Get involved with you guys again, and um, you know, I'm just gonna take it one day at a time. But thanks for being here. Ratty, when you're watching this in the future, I hope you enjoy. Know that Kiwi was thinking of you and blinded me at a very inconvenient moment. Thanks for stopping by, Kiwi. I hope you have a good rest of your holiday. And uh, thanks for being here too, Occam's. Message me later on if you want to do some Red Dead or some zombies or something. Right now, I got a date with lunch because Mama has blessed me. And Mama bequeaths my, the, the, ten, the Ten Commandments. Thou shall eat. That's it. I don't know why it's listed ten times, but... Dash Elite. Goodbye, everybody. Take care.